Hey everybody, it is Friday, November 27th. Is it the 27th? It's the 27th. It is the first day of Vlogmas. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fox. If you are new here, I am doing Vlogmas 2020 this year. So today we are going to get our Christmas tree. We are going to this place called Lake Forest Gardens. It is up in Zelianople. And I am hoping everything is good. I'm a little nervous. But I did check their website. Masks are required, as they should be everywhere in Pennsylvania. And the last two years we've gone, we've interacted with like one other person while we were out there. So hopefully it'll be just as empty. It's just a big open field. You do have to interact with the people when you have your tree wrapped at the end. But that's like no different than standing in line at the grocery store. So we are going here and we have my parents. They are in the car ahead of us and we are meeting them there shortly. And we're going to get our tree and bring it home. so excited what are you are you gonna roll please don't roll in the mud <laughs> oh Layla you're so happy <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah that is nice yeah I think that'll fit in Pepe, too. That's what I said. That is nice. I don't know if it's tall enough, though. Okay. And Michael, got a, and then Michael built your stage there. <laughs> What's going on? Really, really loud. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you like? <laughs> you're like I'm done. Lay the grace. I like it. Do you walk around? Layla's like I like it. Like you're doing the dog stuff. You like it? Okay, is this the one? It's the one she wants. Okay. Check the branches. Branches look good. Good. Is this the one you like, Layla? Yep. <laughs> what are they doing, Layla? Everybody keep your hands clear and safe. Oh, nice. That was fast. Well, you buy clean, so. Yeah, this is going much faster than most years. Whoa, there it goes. Woo, good job. Well done. Yeah, fix that shit. Good job, babe. Good job.
Oh, nicely done. Very tall tree. Watch the light. I know. So. Perfect. doing write a thousand words and then do a chore that's troubling me that's my plan until I go to bed tonight let's see how this goes starting word count is 31,083 words here we go 741 finally a thousand words why am I struggling so hard tonight oh, oh hi <laughs> what are you doing all right, I'm going to take this time right now to clean the bed off. And there's some laundry that I have to put away that lay with Grace. Progress. Everything is done, except for husband's socks. I don't know how he sorts those, so I just leave them and he does that. But, and those two sweaters, I don't know if those are clean or dirty. Those came out of his travel bag, which I just put away. So one thing off the list, it looks so much better in here, Layla. Today on Unexpected Turns of Events, we are at the vet with Layla Grace. She, I think, has a UTI. I hope it's just a UTI. And she's not feeling so good. Of course, right now she's like tweaking. Let me see your face. There you are. So we're just sitting at the vet waiting to be seen. Poor little baby. She's so, she's not feeling good and she hates being here because it scares her. But we will see what they say. Oh my god, girl. I was so grateful that they could get us in an appointment today. We did a lot of stuff around the house. Now we're here with the baby. We'll see. We'll see what they say, huh? We'll see what they say. I love you. I love you. Oh. There's Layla Grace. Yo, Layla! Look at you! Hey, so they said she has, quote, a pretty remarkable bladder infection just came on very suddenly. I told them about her like rowdy behavior yesterday so I don't know if that contributed to it but yeah so she's gonna get 10 days of the antibiotics and then at the end of the 10 days then we check we get another pee pee sample and bring it in. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Look how cute you are. So they said she should start feeling better within 24 hours. My poor little nugget. They went back and read her history and they're like oh she is prone to UTIs. I'm like yeah Thought we had it under control for a couple years, but you know, it happens. Maybe you shouldn't be scooting your butt out in fields. Mm -hmm. 
but hopefully she'll be feeling better soon. It is tall, Jim. You're almost hitting the ceiling. Yeah. It's your dream tree. It is my dream tree. It's You're gonna perfect. You're going to have to throw the bulbs on top because I'm too short. Yeah. <laughs> It's quarter after 12. I have so fucking much to do today and I am having a hard time focusing on shit because these people have been jackhammering since 8 a.m. That is four hours straight of jackhammering. What the fuck is going on out there? Oh, it's so annoying. It's like all I can hear because it's right down the hill from my desk. <sighs> I just want to update that it's now 4 p.m. and they're still fucking jackhammering that same goddamn spot. This has been going on since 8 a.m. this morning, nonstop. There was like a brief 20 to 30 minute break where I guess they ate lunch. What can possibly be jackhammered for this long? I haven't been able to focus on shit today and I'm grumpy. Y'all, today was an absolute clusterfuck of a day. I had such a rough time. I lost like four hours in the middle of my day between the jackhammer and then husband's having a lot of stress at work. So we were talking about that for a while. Just the perfect storm of nonsense. So now I just like, we went for a walk 
and ran up the stairs. Well, I ran up the stairs, and now I'm like breathing heavy because I'm super out of shape. Oh my life. So anyway, I just crossed 43,000 words before we went out for a little walk, so I am trying to see how much more I can get before bed, which will be in like an hour and 15 minutes. I have to be in bed by like 11 at the latest. So here we go. I'm gonna try for at least 2,000 more words. I decided to introduce three grandmas. I mean, not like actual grandmas, but like three senior citizens, because my main character is like staying at this RV park that is like in real life, like a haven for snowbirds. And so like just having relationship problems. And of course these grannies are like counseling her through this. So this is, this is helping my word count, but I'm just like, I just want this to be over with. I am so ready for November to be over, but I'm not because I have so much to do in the next day. The stress, the struggle. Here we go. Okay, so since it is so hard to get wine advent calendars in the state of Pennsylvania, what I decided to do this year is kind of what we did last year. We Last year we picked like 24 wines we were going to drink during the month and then we just picked them each day. This, I have my old advent calendar that my mom made when I was a kid and you can put little, it has little pockets for each day. So I went through and I selected 24 wines and then I did this lettering for them. And then I'm going to cut these up in the morning and fold them up and put them in a jar. And then I'm gonna randomly pull them out and put them in each day. And so then I feel like I should do it in the morning because if there are white wines, there are several. I try to do an even spacing of like at least one from every winery that we have in our cellar. And then I try to do an even mix of reds and whites and hopefully it'll be balanced. But I think we should probably like select it in the morning in case it's a white or a rosé so we know to put it in the, um, to put it in the fridge for the day. So this is what I've been working on. It's about 1040. I'm like, I wanted to go to bed like an hour ago. I'm so tired. But now I can do that. So these were just templates for like gift tags on Microsoft Word is what I used for this. And then I just try to do some, some nice lettering. So we'll see. Should be a fun thing. I mean, I don't know that we'll finish a bottle of wine every night. I find that hard to believe. And we certainly didn't do it last year. So we will try our hardest. 